na kwenye biashara mtazamaji wakulima watakuwa kitozo wa shilingi sabini kwa kukausha kila gunia la kilo tisini la mahindi waziri wa kilimo Mithika Lenturi amesema kuwa serikali imenunua mitambo zaidi ya mia moja ya kukausha mahindi ambayo itakuwa katika mabohari ya mashauri ya kitaifa ya nafaka na mazao katika maeneo yanayokuza mahindi ili kupunguza hasara ya baada ya mavuno kwa hizi na habari nyingine ni katika mkusanyiko ufuatao wa habari za biashara Serikali imenunua zaidi ya vifaa mia moja vya kukosha mafaka ili kuzuia what Hasa katika maeneo ambayo yanakuza mahindi kwa wingi kununuliwa kwa vifaa hivyo vya kukosha mahindi kunanuiwa kuwasaidia wakulima kukausha mahindi yao hasa kutokana na mvua kubwa ambayo inashuhudiwa katika maeneo mengi nchini Waziri wa kilimo amesema kuwa huduma hiyo ya kukausha mahindi itakuwa ikitozwa shilingi sabini kwa kila gunia ya mahindi ya kilo tisini. to sell is means because we want to get money to go and buy fertilizer or plant we have sent we have put in money at the agricultural finance corporation which is our farmers bank and the, and the interest is below 10% for us to be able to support our farmers to grow this seasonal crops wakati huo huo Mzalishaji mmoja wa miti ya mibuyu huko Makueni anatarajiwa kupenya katika soko la Uchina kufuatia kuongezeka kwa mahitaji ya mibuyu katika taifa hilo la bara Asia. Kiwanda cha Nguru ni moja wapo ya viwanda vinavyouza bidhaa hiyo katika mataifa ya kigeni kilichogusiwa katika maonyesho ya sita ya kimataifa ya Uchina kuhusu bidhaa zinazoagizwa kutoka nje ambayo yalishuhudia kuafikia kwa mikataba ya muda ya thamani ya dola bilioni 78.4 moja. Getting to know that products that we have in Africa are highly demanded across the world and we source baobab fruits from at least 1000 farmers in the semi-arid Makueni county in Kenya and then process these fruits into baobab fruit powder and baobab oil. Na hatimaye Washikadau katika kampuni ya Kenya Power wameidhinisha mabadiliko katika bodi ya wakurugenzi ambayo yatahakikisha kuwa maslahi ya walio wachache yanalindwa kuambatana na kanuni za uongozi mwema. Mwenyekiti wa bodi ya kampuni hiyo ya Kenya Power Joy Brenda Masinde amesema kuwa mabadiliko yaliyopendekezwa yanaambatana na mikakati ya serikali ya kuboresha kampuni hiyo na kuifanya kuimarisha mapato yake. The Kenya Kwanza government made a promise that one of the things they were going to do was enable the Kenya Power and Lighting Company to operate as a commercially viable entity by, by disengaging government interests to allow for the company to grow as a commercial enterprise. So to this end, one of the things that we have tried to attain is embrace better governance in the company by giving the minority shareholders uh, a stake and a say in the company.